Good morning, everyone. This is morning devotion for today. I want to read from Isaiah chapter forty-three, which it says that verse eighteen that do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Isn't it like uh, God is telling Israel not to remember the former things, nor consider the things of the old? Even if you look at the cross, it just shows that do not look at the past because past has been. Uh, removed from our like you know the the past of failure the past which was a full fill of uh, discourage discouragement maybe like but then cross has uh, brought that victory that all things have passed away behold everything is new so as we entered this new year into 2023 only thing we can depend on uh, this word and and uh, and we can trust this word that we don't need to remember the former things nor consider the old things uh it doesn't mean that we need to forget the blessing which god has poured upon us in the past but we are thankful for god but god wants us to look forward like in verse 19 says behold i will do a new thing now it shall spring forth and shall you not know it i will even make a road in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert see he's saying that former things are great uh, like you know uh, but here verse 19 says behold i will do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall you not know it and i will make what he will make a road in the wilderness what are the new things the new uh, experience with the lord the new it's not our old experience with the lord yes thank god for those uh, those uh, amazing time we had with the lord in the past and we saw many miracles many uh, blessings and uh, we are thankful for the lord but lord is reminding us not to remember the uh, former things but the new thing behold i will do a new thing and what are the new thing he will make a road in the wilderness he is not saying that you will make a road in the nice platform or nice uh, when you are good when you are and everything is fine but in the wilderness he will make a road he is not saying that rivers will be in the uh, tank or you know in the nice uh, pond or maybe nice little lake but he will make uh, uh, rivers in the desert so in a sense uh, god is not promising uh, like uh, you will not have a, we or will not go through wilderness experience or desert experience yes we may go to go through this test test and trials of our life but there is a surety that god will make a road god will make a rivers uh, that's amazing promises we have for this year like paul i like paul says in uh, philippians chapter 3 verse 14 says that uh, verse 14 uh, uh, 13 we can uh, maybe 13 onward we can read brethren i do not count myself to have apprehended but one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead i press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of god in christ jesus so he's pressing toward the goal and that goal of course is may, we may have many goals uh, like uh, having uh, goals is not a, uh, a problem there but what goal he had what paul had the goal what young and old should have the goal so only one goal i think here in the word it says the goal for the prize of the upward call of god in christ jesus not goal of only success not goal of only yes we all uh, wants that goal that we want to climb another step of success and many things but then here paul had a beautiful desire that the prize of the upward call of god in christ jesus the prize of upward call heavenly call that is important like heavenly call is that will uh, that brings all the purpose and meaning in a right place like in closing in ecclesiastes chapter 7 if you read, uh, read that ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse uh, 10 says do not say why were the former days better than these for you do not inquire wisely concerning this Verse 8 says that the end of the thing is better than its beginning. Isn't it? The end of the thing is better than the beginning. So, uh, so let's believe the word of God. Let's trust God for this year. Uh, like uh, this year, God is going to make uh, roads and rivers in the midst of wilderness and desert. He is not promising that it will be a beautiful uh, like you know, uh, uh, time. Maybe we may go through different seasons in our life. But then he is a maker of road and uh, make and giver of rivers uh, in those uh, uh, maybe in difficult times. So let's press toward the upward call. 
uh, which is high call and holy call and uh, heavenly call. Let's have that goal in our life and see God, how God brings the victory uh, and God delivers us in every trials. Amen. So have a blessed day.